Okay, I'm gonna show you how to make a friendship bracelet for the Buck Moon, Power of the Full Moon Club ritual for July. So you need four strands of embroidery floss cut to six foot in length. Um, you're gonna tie them in an overhand knot to create a loop in the center and then get them set up so that you can start knotting. Uh, I have my colors set up in the same sequence on either side. I also have my floss taped to my work surface. Um, that's to hold it secure. You could also safety pin your loop to your um, jeans or a pillow if you want. Either of those will work. But now we're gonna start knotting. So there are two knots that we need to know in friendship bracelet making to make this. The first one we're gonna do is the forward knot. And you can remember it's the forward knot because you make the number four to make it. So take your leftmost strand, make a four, and then stick the end of that strand through the loop you made by making a four. And you have a knot. And now we're gonna do that again because every knot in friendship bracelet making is double. So make another forward knot. It's really just one forward knot doing this twice. And there you go. And now your strand that was your leftmost strand will be inside. So we're going to continue doing that across all of the left strands. So we're going to make another forward knot here using the same color we started with, which for me is this kind of teal blue. Made our two forward knots. Now we're moving over to the middle. Again, make a four to make a forward knot. One, two. All right, and now the strand that we started with is in the center. So now we're basically gonna do the same thing on the right side, but backwards. So you're gonna take your rightmost strand and make a backwards four. This is a backwards knot. Pull it up and do another one because we always do two. Okay, moving right along. And you wanna make sure you keep the strand that you're knotting on too tight so that it doesn't loop around. Make another backwards knot. See how I'm holding this strand and pulling on this one? That'll help keep your knots in order. And another one. And another one. All right, last one. Okay, so now the two strands that we started with are in the middle. Okay, so to complete our chevron, we just need to do a knot with the two middle strands. And it doesn't matter which one. I'm gonna go forward by making my four. So now they're together and there's a little tiny V up there. And you just repeat this process for the whole length of your bracelet. So you could start with the next color, which is this dark moth. So I'm back to where I started. So you just keep doing that for the whole length of the bracelet. So I have my same color sequence I started with. Um, if you get confused, you can always look and see what your previous rose stripe sequence was so you know what color goes where. Um, but keep doing that until you run out of thread and, or until your bracelet is as long as you want it to be. When you want to attach your charm, all you need to do is slip it through 
the end of the rightmost strand and make your knot like normal and it will be attached in your knot. Okay, so I have like three color repeats. So if you want to end your bracelet, you can just bunch your strands into two groups and tie a knot. That works. You could also uh, put your strands into groups and braid them. That makes a little bit more of a secure ending. But that is how you make the friendship bracelet.